Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's edition of Business Matters, the Broomfield Chamber of Commerce video podcast. I'm Pat Monticelli from the Chamber. Thanks for being with us. Before we get into today's interview, I'd like to ask everybody to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button so we can keep bringing you all this great content. One of the things that we love at the Chamber is to introduce you to our members, especially our new members. They're the reason we exist at the Broomfield Chamber of Commerce. So we like to do spotlight interviews like this, talk about what our members are up to, what, what they're doing in the community, and why they join the Chamber. So with me today is Dana Keller, the VP of Sales and Marketing for Coble and & Company. And thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Pat. We are just thrilled to have this opportunity. And we just you know think that that's such a, a great member benefit to offer. And um, you all are a relatively new member of the chamber. We are. Um, came in, I think, probably last summer at some Correct. point uh, because you were getting ready to launch a big project in right. Superior. It's uh, Montmere and Autry Shores. Tell me a little bit about that project. So we are just equally thrilled to, to be up in the, the area. Um, we are opening a townhome community and it sits right on Autry Reservoir. And from what I understand, that's sort of a, a hidden gem up in here. Not, not a lot of people were aware of uh, the location of the reservoir, um, but it sits by Bell Flatiron um, Apartments and just right next to, adjacent to Flatiron Crossing. And it will be a total of 94 townhomes that we're building. Uh, Waterfront uh, will be uh, offering four levels of homes with rooftop decks and a lot of expansive outdoor living uh, for the homes. And we're just thrilled to be in that location. So you said 94 units Correct. out there. When do you expect the first of those units to be available? So we're hoping to open the models in February and then delivering our first homes uh, to owners in March. Great. And we'll continue um, every month after. So, so you hope you plan to be able to offer the first ones in March. Correct. Um, okay. Is there going to be construction continuing past that point? Uh, absolutely. And yes. And when do you expect yeah. that to be completed? Uh, probably four years from when we started, and we started um, in the spring, mm -hmm. um, but a total of, of three year build out time. Okay. From this point. And, and, you know, we all talk about um, uh, the cost of living in this area yes. and how expensive it is. Now, um, understanding that this is not a cheap place to live, um, what is your expected price range in those? So right now, what we have released for sale starts right at about $800,000. Um, we have some smaller floor plans that we'll be introducing uh, later on in the, in the next probably six months time frame. And those will be uh, hopefully in the 700s. We're, we're certainly targeting to be under that 800 mark. Sure. Um, but certainly when you compare to, to the Boulder market and, and even in, in Denver and the urban infill areas in Denver, that 800 price point is becoming an affordable price point at this point, yeah. It actually is, <coughs> you're right, it actually is. When, when yep. you hear that, it used to be, you would hear that and go, wow, that's yeah, crazy. That, that's, and, yeah. and now it's fairly normal. <laughs> it, it is, <laughs> it, really it is, is. yes. Um, what is the advantage, so these are, are these attached units? They are attached. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. um, and w what are some of the advantages for folks for living in that sort of a community? in that sort of attached, uh, attached housing community. Well, I think first of all, the location. I mean, it is just a, a tremendous location. Um, we have partnered with a company called Resolute to develop this project, um, and they are a commercial developer. Probably a lot of people in the area are familiar with their name. Um, but they brought us in as more of the residential expert. Um, we really see that this is going to be a great community for downsizers or for um, even singles, you know, couples that work in the area, maybe at Interlock and some of the other areas here in, in Broomfield. Um, and it, it's a low maintenance lifestyle, so you're not having to take care of, of the yard, take care of, um, you know, the surrounding area that's all taken care of for you. Um, and I think that the designs just live extremely well. Um, so I, I think it, it offers a great location, a great product design um, for a variety of, of homeowners. So when you think about that style of living, um, there are obviously the area is, is fairly robust with, is. with those sort with attached housing units and, and with construction of new units and things like that, new developments. Um, other than what you've just mentioned, what sets Montmere and Autry Shores apart? Well, I think that the majority of the construction that's going on is downtown Superior right now. 
and we are a little uh, little set apart. Um, so we're kind of you know surrounded by that wonderful Rock Creek um, development that I think has has aged so well. It's such a, a great community, um, and I, I think that we're um, you know being outside of that all of that development that's happening in downtown Superior um, gives us a little benefit that we're not in that congested area. Um, and I think being on on the waterfront on the reservoir walkable to all the shops and restaurants over at uh, Flatiron you know there are plans for some great new um, redevelopment over at Flatiron and so I think that that walkability um, will increase in terms of the offerings um, you know it's it's close in terms of really easy to hop onto 36 but you're not right on 36 like you are in that downtown superior area so so I do think that there are several benefits to um, to the, the specific location. And it's a beautiful setting, you know, really, really uh, beautiful being on that, that uh, Autry Reservoir. Absolutely. Are there any other plans for any other developments from Coble along this 36 corridor or in this general region? Yes, um, we are actually working on an affordable apartment um, community. Um, it's on the diagonal in Boulder and it will be um, affordable apartments for rent. Um, one of the things that I'm most proud of working for Coble and Company is that we delivered more affordable uh, homes, uh, units uh, for, for people to live in. Um, in the state of Colorado than any other developer over the past few years. Uh, so we're excited to be bringing our, an affordable project to that area. We do have another affordable community called Lumine and Ledges in Boulder, so this will be the second community that we offer in Boulder. And we have another um, is slated for uh, Spine on Spine that's going to be okay. following the diagonal. But um, we are very committed to, to bringing affordable housing. And, and again, it's predominantly been uh, rental units, but we do also uh, offer some affordable housing, which we did up at Trails Crossing in North Boulder uh, a few years ago. Great. So let's shift gears just a little bit. Um, what was important to Coble about joining the Broomfield Chamber? Why was that an important piece of this whole plan? Well, obviously our location, we're, we're really close to, you know, kind of being on that superior Broomfield um, border. But I think just uh, how, you know, thriving the Broomfield community is, and particularly with all of the employment centers, um, we are hoping to, to tap into those employers and, and a lot of the members for the chamber to let them know that we offer a great option for housing for their employees. Um, and one of the things that we wanted to, to promote here today is that if an employer wants to, would promote our community to um, their employees, that we would offer a perk, an employee perk for them, a free washer and dryer, refrigerator, um, that that would be able to be presented to their employees as a benefit. Um, that they've negotiated for them. So um, we, we just really want to tap into to the businesses in the area, whether they're small business with you know small, small businesses with just a few employees or a large corporation. Um, we know that that's where a lot of our, our homeowners are going to come from. Absolutely. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. We, we've done that in several of our communities and it's worked very well. Absolutely. So, you know, and obviously we've talked about what you do, but to kind of, if you wanted to give sort of your 30 second commercial about Cobalt and Company and, and, and what you do to it, it, the sort of larger picture, what Absolutely. would that be? Absolutely. Um, we've been in business since 1952, so we're approaching 70 years um, will be next year. We are the longest operating, um, continuously operating real estate company in the state of Colorado. Uh, privately held, family owned. Um, we're in our third generation, um, which is fun. And uh, we're very diverse. We, we obviously, we've touched on uh, the residential um, that we're offering for sale. We've talked a little bit about our affordable, but we also have a commercial division. Uh, and we do, uh, Catalyst is um, a digital health integration system down in Rhino, and we're um, opening a second building down there. We do retail as well as office complexes. We, uh, in our residential, also, also have a resort division. Um, we have rendezvous up in Winter Park, and so anyone um, you know, of your members is interested in a mountain home, we, we can help you there too. Um, and we also are in the Granby area um, at Grand Elk Golf Course Community. So um, do a lot of different things, very Colorado-centric. Um, and I think in addition to offering those affordable housing um, offerings that I discussed, um, we also, um, 
are very committed to our community and giving back. And you'll see that up in Boulder. You'll see the Leeds School of Business um, is in um, a, a Cobal building that was donated by Cobal and Company. So um, we're very involved in the community giving back, and uh, I'm really proud to, to be able to be a part of this wonderful organization. And it sounds like they keep you pretty busy. Very busy. <laughs> <laughs> very busy. Never, ever bored. So, yeah. Dana, thanks so much for being here with Thank us today. Thank you again. Really appreciate the opportunity. If folk, before I let you go, if folks are interested in Montmere Autry Shores, um, how could they find out so more? So we do have a sales center that's open. Um, you can't miss it. Um, we have a double-decker sales trailer, which is really fun and has an observatory, and so you can stop by there. Um, so just driving over, you know, we're right off of Colton. Um, and uh, and also um, go to cobalco.com is our website. And Cobal is a little bit challenging to spell. It's K-O-E-L-B-E-L-C-O.com. And you'll find the Montmere um, community there and some, some contact information there as well. Fantastic. Dana, thanks again. Thank you. Appreciate it. And so that's it for this edition of Business Matters. Again, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.